Hello and greetings from Charleston County Public Works Stormwater Program. My name is Brett Champion and I am the project manager for the Grimble Road Drainage Improvements. These improvements, which are scheduled for later this fall, 2020, mainly comprises upgrading the culverts under Grimble Road, as well as upgrading the culverts under South Grimble Road, which is the dirt road leading to the Stono River. In efforts to relieve a lot of the congestion we experience upstream of the Grimble Road, this particular phase of construction is part of a three-phase approach. Downstream improvements will be the second phase, and the upstream improvements will be the third phase. But these two phases will not be constructed with this phase this fall. Before going into too much detail, I wanted to first touch on the drainage study Thomas and Hutton completed last year. It basically involved an investigation of the island's 30 different watersheds within the island to help concentrate the specific needs of the smaller communities and areas of concern. This particular slide shows the ranking of all the watersheds. You can see the scale over to the far left. The red watersheds depict a higher ranking, which reflects those in, in, in need of repair, and the green watersheds are on the other end of the spectrum. They depict those areas and basins which have little or no issues. These rankings were based on the size of the watershed, the soils, the land use, elevations, and even work order request. As you can see, the Signal Point drainage basin, which includes the Grimble Road drainage area, is ranked 17 of the 30 basins. Although it didn't receive a very high ranking from Thomas and Hutton's study, it's been on the county's radar for the past few years for needed repair. This slide focuses on the Signal Point drainage basin. And again, Grimble Road project is part of this particular basin. It comprises about 400 acres. About 50 acres is downstream of Grimble Road and is not crucial to this project. So basically 350 acres of area is trying to drain under Grimble Road. Of that 350 acres, 200 acres is being routed through the five acre pond beside the school property. There are two main components of this particular project. The replacement of the existing culverts under Grimble Road and South Grimble Road because the existing culverts are way undersized for the larger storm events. The second component is to the lower the static elevation of the five acre pond about a foot. This will provide more freeboard for detention during a storm so that not all the water is trying to get under Grimble Road at one time. This effort will also promote more residence time for pollutants to settle out and will also aid with long-term water quality benefits. This slide shows the variation in topography. The green areas are the high and the purple areas are the low. As you can see, there is not a lot of variation through the lower part of this basin. It is pretty flat, especially from Signal Point Road and the improvements. It also has a high water table. The soils are pretty good, but the high water table minimizes the soil's capacity to absorb and infiltrate any more water. So in short, we witness considerable amount of staging upland of Grimble Road when the soils are saturated from previous storm events. Basically when we experience a back-to-back -back storm. This slide shows the area where most of the work will be done. There are two existing culverts that are way undersized to handle 350 acres that are coming to them. We will be replacing the two small culverts with triple 48 RCPs that will have a lot more capacity than what is existing now. This work will involve closing down Grimble Road for at least two months due to the amount of utilities involved and that are needing to be re relocated. Backing up to the previous slide, this shows the entirety of Grimble Road. As you can see, it is a loop road. Fortunately, the proposed work is at the remote end of this loop and should not interfere with the local traffic, except for school traffic. During the road closure, school traffic from the northwest end of the island will need to continue on Folly Road to the south. Access to the school will not be compromised throughout the duration of this project. Construction costs are estimated at half a million, and this project is being funded solely through Charleston County Stormwater Program, specifically the stormwater utility fees. Invitation for bids will be going out the first week of August, and we hope to start construction later this fall. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to contact me by phone or email. Thank you.